Well, Mick, four charges from the Broncos' Rabbitohs match alone and three others from round eight. Let's start with Friday night. Yeah, well, we start off with uh, Adam Reynolds for the grade one contrary conduct for his contact with referee uh, Jared Maxwell. Uh, you can see the footage here. He uh, makes the time to get across to the referee and um, makes contact uh, to the referee on the uh, side of the arm. Uh, so a charge was applicable there. Rabbitohs back rower Paul Carter was charged with a grade one trip for making contact with his leg to the leg of Broncos 5'8", Anthony Milford. Broncos forward Joe Offengawi was charged with a grade one careless high tackle for his shoulder contact to the head of Paul Carter. And the last charge from the Broncos match was for front rower Adam Blair. And that was a grade one dangerous contact for his contact with halfback Adam Reynolds, uh, where he made contact with his shoulder to the uh, head of Adam Reynolds. Okay, well, Adam Blair, um, he will miss one match either way. Adam Reynolds, however, if he takes the early plea, he won't miss any matches. And Paul Carter and Joe Offahangawi won't miss any matches either way. Um, so let's move on then, and the Knights Seagulls match. Yeah, Newcastle front rower Sam Mataora was uh, charged with a grade two dangerous contact for his crusher tackle on Tom Trebojevic. You can see him coming down and applying pressure to the uh, head or neck of uh, Trebojevic there, and uh, a grade two was applicable. Okay, and Sam Mataora, he will miss one match either way. And lastly, two charges uh, from the Anzac Day clash at Allianz Stadium uh, between the Dragons and the Roosters. Yeah, there were two charges. The first one to uh, Joel Thompson. Uh, that was a grade two careless high tackle. Uh, you can see the contact there to Aidan Guerra. And the second charge was to Sam Moa uh, for his charge down or attempted charge down on uh, Josh McCrone. And that was a grade one dangerous contact, uh, head or neck. Okay, um, Sam Mower and Joel Thompson, they'll both, both miss a match either way. Um, now, Dylan Napa, he escaped suspension for this particular incident. Can you just talk us through why? Yeah, you can see the contact here from Dylan Napa. We uh, deemed it not forceful enough or careless in terms of his actions uh, to not warrant a charge. You can see the head contact between Boyd Corden and Havili, uh, which you know we deemed to be the reason why both players went off for the concussion test. So uh, no, uh, no charge resulting for uh, Dylan Napa on this occasion. Okay, well Mick, thanks for joining us once again. Thanks, Amy.